Hello, my name is Erin. We recently looked at how to use the rulers in Adobe Acrobat. Today we're going to look at how to use the grid in Adobe Acrobat. The grid is a system of lines that can help you align objects such as text boxes, buttons, form fields, and images in your PDF. You can use the rulers and the grid at the same time. First, we'll turn on the grid. Then we'll turn on the Snap to Grid option. Finally, we'll change the grid preferences, such as the unit of measurement, spacing, number of subdivisions, and line color. I'll be using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. These steps also apply to Adobe Acrobat 2020. In addition, the steps are similar for PC and Mac. These steps don't apply to Adobe's free PDF display software, Acrobat Reader. To turn on the grid, begin by selecting the View menu. Next, select Show Hide from the drop down menu, followed by Rulers and Grids from the submenu, and then select Grid from the secondary submenu. The grid should appear over your page. To turn off the grid, reselect the View menu, Show Hide, and Rulers and Grids, and then deselect Grid in the secondary submenu. Note that you can also turn on or turn off the grid by using the keyboard shortcut Control plus U on a PC or Command plus U on a Mac. The Snap to Grid option makes the grid lines sticky, so objects will automatically line up with them as you move the objects. While convenient, Snap to Grid can make resizing certain objects difficult, so you may need to turn it on and off as you arrange your PDF. To begin, select the View menu, and once again select Show Hide from the drop down menu, followed by Rulers and Grids from the submenu. Finally, select Snap to Grid from the secondary submenu. Now we're going to change the default grid preferences. These changes will remain in effect for future PDFs until you change them again. To begin, select the Edit menu on a PC or the Acrobat menu on a Mac. Next, select Preferences from the drop down menu. When the Preferences dialog box appears, select the Units and Guides category. From there, you can select points, picas, millimeters, centimeters, or inches from the Page and Ruler Units menu. It's important to note that this unit of measurement applies to the grid and the rulers. However, you can use different units of measurements for the grid and the rulers by right clicking or control clicking one of the rulers and then selecting a different option from the shortcut menu. Next, enter your new choices into the Layout Grid section. You can change the width and height between lines, the offset for the left and top edge, and the number of subdivisions. Subdivisions are the lighter color lines that divide the main grid lines. You can also change the grid line color. When you're finished, select the OK button. Your new grid preferences should take effect immediately. For more Adobe Acrobat tutorials, please see my playlist, How to Use Adobe Acrobat, where you'll find many related videos, such as how to insert and modify images in PDFs with Adobe Acrobat, and how to create navigation buttons in PDFs with Adobe Acrobat. All the resources mentioned today are linked in the description box below along with my website, erinwritewriting.com, which shows all the steps we just performed with images. Feel free to leave me a comment if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to talk about in the future. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss upcoming tutorials, and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching.